Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Diamond Paintings with me, your host Mike. We have reached the last row of this fantastic painting that we have been working on over several months, uh, sorry, over several weeks. Um, and yeah, it's now fine, it's now time to start its final journey. Uh, what we will do is we will, we're not going to do the drawing of the marking on this square because we can work with the guideline of the washi tape. But just to put a placer in where I'd like to finish is I'm going to put the M just about there. Um, so I'll just pop that about there. I need to go and grab some uh, wax because I can't find any and it's disappeared off my desk so just bear with me and I'll uh, go and grab some. Sorry about that. Um, I will mix some out of here. This is from a new painting I got today. Um, let me just sort this out and uh, get these and uh, we'll get this uh, moving on shall we lovely okay so yeah let's just uh, load some up the only thing I keep at these kits are the, the wax because I, I like to work with my normal pen but Yes, yeah, so it has, shortly as, shortly as I came off air, I have been doing some more magazine reading. I'm reading a magazine about uh, wildlife at the moment, and uh, it's rather interesting about all these tours that they do. You can pay so much money and go and see a tour about wildlife and see like eagles and that. So it's really good. Um, then I had something to eat and watched the one o'clock news. I think exciting happened. <laughs> I was I was waiting for them to say Liz Trust has resigned, um, but yeah, unfortunately not. Um, so yeah, it's it's been been watching that, and then after that, no, just before that, the postman came, and it had my cross stitch in it and um, my world of cross stitch and it also had my grow your own um magazine because there was a problem with the magazine they sent me october uh, november's before october's so what i'm going to do is because we need access uh to this part here i'm just going to take this off um and i will place it up here because obviously I still need to lean on here so that we don't get stuck to it. <laughs> so yeah, they sent me my Grow Your Own. This feels so strange doing the last row. Um, they sent me my issue of Grow Your Own and it was the October copy, so I was like really pleased. So I filmed that and I discovered that they had the same seeds as the month before. So I'm just looking into if that's an error or, or what. Um, let me just move that one there. So yeah, done that. And then Amazon turned up. And it was really good because uh, they always, they got better. They've been turning up about lunchtime, which is nice. And it had my new painting in it. So uh, this one's a Valentine's Day theme. So I've just been recording that for Valentine's. Um, we got quite a few coming up in Valentine's Day. Um, some, there's three of them and you'll get one, say like every day of the week, but it's gonna be, 2023 is mainly aimed more at themes um, rather than different paintings each day. So what the plan of action is, doing it each day is not, it is working, but it's not, it's a lot of changing about and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in the themes so that we get one painting done and we just keep getting them worked on, finished, moved out of the way, you know. So normally when I'm approaching the end of one painting, that's when I sort of like order another one. 
and it's very difficult like you 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 just try it the urge not to order <laughs> but sometimes your brain gives in um, so yeah I've been filming that and then I thought well we'd read a bit more of my apologize a bit of my magazine and um, yeah so uh, do some of that and then I had a text message um, because I don't know how this happened but I put scissors in the washing up bowl to wash them up and my scissors broke um, I'm not entirely sure how this has happened but when I went to wash it up it's uh, it's gone like that <laughs> so the, <laughs> the things fell off I don't know where the nuts gone um, so I phoned my mum because I was like, why are these doing these? Because, you know, you have to wash scissors if you're, uh, if they get grubby or anything. And she said, they don't, they always do that when you put them in water. So you're not supposed to put them in water. And I'm like, well, if they get dirty, how are you supposed to wash it? So, yeah, it was quite funny. Um, but I'm probably not going to, I use them ones for like kitchen, like if I'm cutting a pizza up. Yes. I know it sounds strange, but I do cut pizzas with scissors. <laughs> um, partly because at the time I didn't have a pizza slicer, but I've got that now. But yeah, I probably won't buy any more of them. I've had a couple of them over the years and they're not very good. So I've got um, some crafty ones and stuff like that. But oh, this is nice. We're getting like a little brown and black theme going on here. Oh, that's lovely. It really, I don't know why I seem so emotional over this painting, like ending, I mean it's, I suppose it's because I don't think I'm never ever going to do like a, a whip and chat on a, a pumpkin video of this type again, it's, it's just been a, a really blast to do. But next year's, I, I've got a good one for next year's, um, so yeah. But it's, it's, oh, that's an R. But yeah, it's definitely really, really nice. Should we, be, should we do something different and just like drag it all the way along? No, we can't. We've got to stick to the block. But I reckon by Friday, this will be done. And we're already on, what are we on today? The 21st, is it? Don't exactly know. But whatever day, it, no, it's the 18th, isn't it? Um, so I reckon... By Friday, we should get a kickstart on the November painting. Oh, I wonder what they're playing on TV. Sounds pretty good. So, yeah. Um, and then I got an email to say, this was this morning, I got an email to say that my Amazon gift card is on the way. Because I'm signed up with some uh, magazines with a company called Buy Subscriptions. And not all the time, but some magazines come with free gifts and some don't. And one of the deals was, if I sign up to this for, I think it was like six issues, I will get a £10 Amazon gift card. So I was like, yes, excellent. Just going to check that, yeah. G, 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 at uh, all. Oh. Right, I thought it went wrong. It's because you get so carried away with one colour and then, uh, right, lovely, fantastic. Okay, so we can put, that's gone over slightly, but that doesn't matter, I know the margin's there, and we can put the O colour in. Every time every time I see that O colour, I think of that, you know that sketch by the two ones, and it goes, I want an O no, I want a hose or something like that. Um, so funny. So yeah, that one. Oh. Oh, actually, that is in line. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Sweet. So yeah. Um, now, obviously, let me know in the comments. I'd be quite interested to know if you guys keep your if you keep your dr spare drills, do you upcycle them? I have done some on upcycling. I've created a card. 
and um, there is a company called Stamp, Stamped Up or Stamping Up and they specialise in like stamps and all sort of embellishments. Hang on. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Um, embellishments of like cards and all sorts of wonderful things and um, oh, I've just remembered I need to do something for the craft channel. Oopsie. Um, so yeah, Kay, what we'll do is we'll miss out for the minute because I know exactly where that colour is and I'm very comfortable in my chair and I don't want to get up. <laughs> so as I said, we'll do any filling right at the very, very, very end. I'll get the bloody words out today. But yeah. So really it's one, two, three, potentially four squares left. But yeah, after seeing the squares, I'm going to look into that a bit more. Because um, I, I quite like the way this has turned out. But what I need to do is I need to get a painting completed in a round drill and then compare the two paintings to see what works best. So, yeah. I was filming some of my butterfly yesterday, so... But yeah, I really want to do sort of like theme paintings and I want to get custom. It's been a while since, I've, as I said, the last custom I got was of a giraffe that I took whilst visiting the zoo. And um, me and my family went to the zoo and I thought, oh, do you know what? That's good. That could make a good painting. Because when I'm out and about, if I see like, I don't know, like a lovely, like really beautiful looking tree that's got loads of beautiful uh, colours on it I will look at it and I'll think would that make a good diamond painting custom and then I'll take a photo of it and what I'm thinking of doing is doing like customs of Whitton Town so like you know iconic places and do like customs of it so I've loads of sort of ideas But I did, originally I got up today and wanted to tackle the problem with the Titanic. And you know what it's like, you get up and you, you plan to do something and you do something completely different. <laughs> I think what chucked me off course was because Grow Your Own turn up. So obviously I wanted to get that done. Um, originally it was supposed to be Bismarck tonight, but on the other channel. And um, yeah, it's now grow your own so okay why is there such a big gap here what's going on here so this is another thing is sometimes these jewels have quite a big gap so yeah okay so this one okay okay so now we've got the basic thing we can start to fill it now which is lovely I mean, diamond painting has now sort of become part of a regular thing for me. I seem to do it nearly every day. Just, it's just quite nice. It's Once you're into it, it's like part work. So once you're into it, it's very difficult to stop doing it. And uh, for me, the best bit about diamond painting is seeing the picture come to life, you know. And yeah, I mean, the painting I got today, I was thinking... Because you never really know what it's going to look like until you get it. And it was really lovely packed. Um, they did a... It wasn't rolled. It was like a flat shape. It was really lovely. And uh, I've just remembered that my November painting is over at my relatives. So I'm going to have to fix that up and bring it over here. Because another thing I want to get is another um, big file thing. You know them big A3 diamond painting files that you put the paintings in. I want to get that. Is there something under here? Yeah, there's a little drill stuck. So I felt a lump there and I was like, what the hell is that, you know? Okay, what's happened here? We seem to be... Like, right, there's a little bit of a... There we go. Overlap there, so brilliant. But yeah, it's... It's coming to the end, unfortunately, on this... Uh, lovely painting but we have had some fun I mean you know we've been talking about all sorts of wonderful things 
and uh, can't believe it's uh, almost the end of an era for this uh, little painting. But what I think I'm most proud of is the fact that I've managed to complete my target of, if not a week ahead of the, uh, you know, the diamond paintings. And I've managed to get this finished for Halloween. And yeah, it, it's just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So the email I got was they dispatched this Amazon gift card on the 17th. Now today is the 18th, so I reckon tomorrow or probably Thursday we should see that. Because it will come from raw mail, so I don't have to be in for it if I don't want to. But I dare say it's going to go on a diamond painting. Most of what I buy on Amazon now is paintings. <laughs> but I do want to get another pair of side cutters for my builds. Because I do some builds in um, at my relatives because I don't have the room. And uh, I could do with a pair of side cutters over there rather than keep, you know, carrying them everywhere. Because if you go in the shop, they'll think, oh, uh, you probably stole it. Or they'll think, um, you know, why are you carrying that? And it probably might set off the, it might set off the uh, barriers. So, yeah, I want to get another pair. And I dare say they'll ID check me when I, because some things on Amazon they ID check you. So, like things if it's like a saw or like a, especially craft knives, they will ID check you on it. So just be mindful of that. But yeah, I've got a bit of, it sounds like I'm coming down with a cold or something, but. Because <sighs> I know my relatives had it, but it wasn't COVID, so it's just like a genuine, oh, bugger, I forgot to do that COVID vaccine. Oh, crap. Because they sent me a letter saying that I need to do, um, I need to have my booster or something. But I'm sure I had two already, so. We'll double check that with them, but yeah. I wonder if I can do it with a mom, um, um, Anamar, is it? I'll have a go on Anamar. Because I don't know about you guys, but I bloody hate phoning up. I hate it. I don't know why though, I should be comfortable with it, but I just don't. I just, it's not really something that I like doing. Like today I got a letter, please can you call us something um, about information not being updated or something. And I'm like, no, you know, we have an email, use the email. Oh, some companies don't allow this. Okay, well that ain't my problem then, is it? <laughs> So yeah, oh man. So this is like the um, this is like the bottom of the sort of like the field, should we say? At the painting, maybe. So. <laughs> I just bought something. <laughs> oh man, my friend's got a treat night tonight. She's having chips, licorice all sorts, chip. Um, I think she said batter sausage and chips or fish and chips, and she's got Doritos because she has a treat night. I should start doing that. But I think I do love my fish, so I'm probably gonna have fish and chips tonight as well. But. Uh, the meal deal this week is really good. So the meal deal with the co-op at the moment is fish, chips, peas, fish fingers and magnum. But they're in like a mini ball shape. So they're really lovely. So 
sorry. Oh. Seven tears are flowing into the river. My goatee might have to go, you know, because it's really irritating me now. Because as it grows around, like, as it goes around your mouth, you get, like, bits of the hair keep jabbing you in the mouth. And uh, it might have to go because it just, like, irritates me. It itches all the time and it's like, yeah, it just, I might have to trim it a bit. Seven tears have flown into the river. Can you believe it? it's only one week until November? Just like, gets faster and faster every single year. I ain't looking forward to uh, Happy New Year, you know, because you don't know whether it's uh, every year we've had so far has been nothing but problems with the government, so. Could 2023 be the year that we're, that this country is back to normal? I don't know. Um, but January would be good for like part work builders because we've got, we've got the tumbler coming out. So, talking of which, I need to get my next issues. They'll be in tomorrow. So, um, that's what I like about doing obviously different things because obviously I do a bit of crafting, I do a bit of painting, I do a bit of part work building, you know, it, there's always something to work on, you know, I think that's what I like about painting, it's uh, always something nice to do. And then sort of when I'm getting to this sort of point, that's when I start to order a new painting, but I promise myself only if they're five pounds. I don't want to pay any more than that. I'm just going to half these jewels a bit because it's a little bit cram packed in there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Won't be long before I watch uh, Spooky Buddies. And the new build gets revealed on my other channel. What is that colour? That is G, isn't it? Okay, so when I find a G, I'll plumb that into it. I can't believe this is the last row. I mean, it's, it's, with diamond painting, you think it will go on and on and on, but it don't. It's, you know, really, really near the end now. It's definitely, really nice and uh, yeah wow <laughs> do apologize if you can uh, hear the TV in the background it's just been uh, as I said I don't I like I need I have to have something on. I can't stand silence. I oh, oh yeah, Susan Boyle. You know the one that goes, enjoy the silence. Words are very unnecessary. They can only do harm. Because everyone picked on Susan, didn't they? Because on Britain's Got Talent, they thought she couldn't sing, and then she turned into. Um, I think she won it, didn't she? And she, or she didn't win, but Simon did a special contract for her. And she's got, she's come out with several albums. And when she started singing, a dream, a dream in time gone by. Um, you know, she, uh, he couldn't believe it. He was gobsmacked over it. But Simon Cow, he's really short. <laughs> I thought, apparently, he has one leg bigger than the other, so he has to wear a special shoe. Or he has to have, like, on his boots, he has to have, like, the thickness built up or something. So, uh, he's really small. When you see him on TV, you can't really notice it, but he's really, he's tiny. Um, and he's got a son called Eric. So. Yeah, ba -da -ba -doo. I 
I nearly bought my 2023 uh, diary yesterday because it's not about you guys, but I like to know what I'm doing each day. So I like to put it in my diary and that. So as I said, I, I'm so busy between now and the new year because obviously November's a busy time, not so, so much for me, but obviously we've got the new, we're gonna be meeting the nephew, um, it's firework night, you know, and bonfire night, but I think he, she's due, something's going on with this because there seems to be like a gap with it. Um, but yeah, she's due, Vicky's due with the kid about mid-November or the second week in November, so yeah. Um, and then obviously December, we've got all the kerfuffle about, you know, if I'm running around getting all the Christmas groceries, um, all the presents and all that stuff. Let me know in the comments, but I, I just don't like buying people's gifts out of my money. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry, I, I know that sounds like really awful, awful, um, but it is, you know, it, it, I just don't like doing it. I just don't know why. It's not really something I enjoy, you know, my money is my money, and I like to spend it on paintings, but, I mean, I don't necessarily have to spend, splash out loads, do I? So, because I've got to be mindful that even though it's Christmas, when we do the, when we get the issues, they're coming out every month, you know, and what's lovely about being on a subscription though, is the fact that you don't have to pay out every week. The only problem is with news agents is you have to pay out every week, but in a way it sort of gets it built quicker, I suppose. See, look, I've just put that in the right place. I seem to have a gap still. What is going on? This is annoying now. See, that one don't have gap, but that one does. And it's right on the edge here, so I don't know what's causing that. But it is what it is. It could be the light doing it, I don't know. Words are very unnecessary. Can carry away. That's another song she sings, is White Horses. Um, so yeah. Ah, oh, Gigi, lovely. You can snap that one into there, lovely. Fantastic, and then that will use them up, beautiful. Lovely jubbly. See, that's quite another funny colour because it looks red, but in actual fact it's brown. So that's interesting. Lovely. But I'll probably have another rummage around Amazon later and try and figure out another painting that I want. Oh man, that's so funny. But it's also, also what's nice is um, obviously a lot of the time I'm pre recording, so. Some paintings are filmed months in advance, but with this painting, although I started in September, it actually feels quite nice to be doing a painting that's in that, you know, dedicated to that month, rather than film it when it's, you know, halfway through a different month that it's not due yet. So yeah, it's, it's really quite nice filming this while in uh, October. I don't think we're gonna stretch it to the 31st, but it, it would be nice if we could start, you know, a, you know, save a bit. I might save a square just to do on diamond painting while I'm, uh, you know, while it's Halloween and that. But with Halloween, because it upsets Molly, we uh, we normally bolt the gates so that people can't come in and, you know, keep knocking on the door going, check okay. Um, because Molly gets in the mouth, so when the postman puts the mouth through the door, she'll go and get it and put it in her bed. So. Whenever, whenever someone knocks on the door, she just, she keeps barking and uh, we have to reassure her. Even though we say there's no one there, she will scratch the drawers and tell us that she wants to go out. And we physically have to open the door to, to show her that there's no one there, you know? Um, but yeah. 
I think trick or treat is so old fashioned now. It's it's basically for kids, isn't it? So, but I'll always be grateful to. As I said, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy doing diamond painting and I'll always be grateful to the lady that very kindly got me into doing this. Um, as I said, if we never had that discussion about, you know, you should try and get into it. Because I, as I said, I, we were talking one day and uh, she said, um, you should try diamond painting. And I said, oh no, you know, it's not for me. And... Uh, as I said, I've never really put the pen down since. As I said, there was one time when I just felt like I, I really need to give up with this. I did a different painting every day and it was it was so overwhelming. I was losing drills and I've never really done that since apart from like recording because it was live as well and it was just getting to me a bit. With pre-records, it's easier because, you know, you're filming one and then that's finished and you move on to the next. But... I'll always, be, I'll always be grateful to that person for getting me into this lovely hobby. I mean, personally, I think it's something I'll always do until I, you know, I'm, I'm old and grey and, you know, until I die, you know, because it's, it's just lovely. I really thoroughly enjoy doing this. And as I said, my brother has a jelly wax. Um, there's a similar version like this, but they're little jelly silicon things. And... I haven't seen them for ages, but I'd like to give that a go. But it's uh, it's just lovely to, yeah, finally uh, get this moving, really. Do, 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 do. said that k color i know where it is but i just don't want to get up <laughs> so we'll do that you know once we're near the line but i don't know about you guys but whenever i get a green tray i chuck them i really love working on these ones but for some reason these white ones don't have that thing these actually these white trays came with my storage rack thing uh that is this thing you put your drills in it and uh yeah came with that so I was like wow um so yeah it was uh, pretty good but I need to have a look at it I've took all the drills off at the moment because something's gone wrong with the end of it and it's come off the run so I need to figure out what's happened there see it's like it's fell off the thing so uh, I don't know how that's happened but I'll have to dismantle it and uh, try and figure out how it's fell off all it is is it slipped off the the run, but yeah, it's. I wonder if we've got enough. We've got quite a lot to do. Oh no! Do you ever get drills like that? Let me know in the comments if you ever get drills where you're like near enough to the end, um, like you're coming to the end of the drills, but then you've got loads of squares. Be interesting to see. Yeah. I'm not going to keep this cellophane thing because um, I plan to put this into a frame. So, some people do. My, one of my uh, friends in Australia, he paints, but he doesn't do, he doesn't do like the whip and chats. He doesn't talk while he's painting it. So it can, it does get a little bit you know, boring if I'm honest because he's not really talking as he's doing it. So, you know, it, it, I like watching channels that talk and do whip and chats. So, that, I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm allowed that, so it's up to you. But I definitely love doing the whip and chats. What I love about it is the fact it gives you something to talk about. So, yeah, if that... Um... Sorry about my creaky uh bar chair there if my um if that voucher comes tomorrow then i will definitely have a good old spend and if i could see two paintings for 
I might be able to get two paintings for five quid each. There's another one I want, it's a lion and it's got three cubs. So I would I would love to get that. Oh no. That's a you. Okay. So yeah, I'd love to get um the three lions one. That'd be awesome. I'm going to say that that's, what is that, G? Okay, so we know this one's G, we'll put that down next time, U, yep. I feel like I've only just been doing this for like 10 minutes and it's like near enough time to finish it again. <laughs> it goes so quick. And before you know it, it's bedtime again. Wish there was a way that could slow down time. That's why I say treasure every moment because, you know, you could wake up one morning and die, you know. So treasure every moment. Do the things you want to do. If you want to go in a hot air balloon, go in a hot air balloon. If you want to travel the world, travel the world, you know. Live, live life to the full. Treasure every moment. Do the things you want to do. My, my sister was talking about that yesterday. She says she still wants to go travelling. I mean, to go travelling, you've got to have a lot of money because obviously you're buying... To, I don't know how it works, but I think you have to buy tickets for each destination you fly to, don't you? I mean, I've never really done travelling, but the only place I've got to outside the UK is France, and that was on a school trip. But we went to this lovely chocolate factory, and then my friend Sophie was on the bus, and she didn't want her lollipop that she bought, and she said... Um, she paid five quid for it, and I was like, if you don't want it, I'll buy it for five dollars. Uh, not five dollars, five euros, because I have five euros left after I bought this lovely chocolate cat that I didn't, I forgot myself, and it was in my bag, so I slammed the bag on the floor under my seat at the bus, and uh, yeah, cracked into a million pieces. So, really gutted, because I bought it for my mum, and uh, yeah. Right, that was G, weren't it? So we can use that one up there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. So yeah, she let me have it for $5. So yeah. There was this time, we was in school, and there was, the, 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 back then you had like these really weird pencils. They were a pencil, but you know the size of a skipping rope? They were like rubber pencils that you could wind up and it had lead going through it. And again, my friend didn't want it. So I said like, how much do you want for it? She said like 250. So I gave, so she said like 250. So I bought it for 250. So yeah, it was pretty good. It's interesting how some of these colours only crop up like very off, like very little. Like, I think I've only put five of that red colour in. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, if I see a gap, I don't wait. I like to carry on because I know that that can set me back. So, I'll do all the filling at the end. Might do some filling um, on the next session. We'll have to wait and see. But after this, I'm definitely going to have a cup of tea and take a break because I feel like I've been doing this all day. Because <laughs> as soon as I get up, I'm on painting. I love me painting. So, yeah, but I'll have to... Uh, something really going on. I think it's the light bulb playing tricks on me. So when I push that back, the gap went. Yeah, it's definitely the light board. So yeah. Anybody heard that song? It's um, it's 
cool chaise long and they go on the chaise long, on the chaise long, on the chaise long, all day long, on the chaise long. And it's all they sing and it's really groovy. It's really like a good song. Oh, actually, I might grab a cup of tea and watch Wild at Heart. Yes. Yeah, I might do that actually. Have a nice cup of tea, lie in the bed and watch Wild at Heart. Yeah. And then I'll have to get dinner sorted and get that out of the way. And then watch, um, oh yeah, that fishing program might be on today. There's, the, there's this new fishing program and they basically have to catch fish and then they take it to market and see how much they can get. But some of the amount of money they get, I mean, each crew member, I think it was like four crew members and they all got a thousand pounds each, a thousand pounds. So yeah. And then I saw this video on TikTok, it was so funny, like he was cutting this fish up and the head was cut off and he's cutting through the middle of the body, separated the two halves of the body and it's still flipping, it's like going like that on the floor, um, no on the bench of where he's working, so yeah. But yeah, I'd say it won't be long before my relative decides to go back to Butlins. Butlins. One of my friends, Sunny Stormy, said that. She was like, what's Butlins? And I said, it's like a, it's basically a kids camp and it ain't really for adults. It's basically a kids thing. What the hell is she talking about? I don't know if you can hear that, but she's talking about some rubbish. I apologise, I think I've just put that in the wrong spot, so I'll put that there. Yeah, if I can, I'll try and get another session out of this today. I think I've done two now because we started. Oh, hang on. Oh, it was right. We um, we started up here, didn't we? Right up on towards this end of the mouth. So, yeah, I'll try and get a bit more of this done. Um, if I can squeeze at least another session out. Normally we lose sunset about six or seven at the latest, but yeah, if I can get, you know, as much sessions as I can out of it, that'd be great. Um, but it's gonna be fun, because when I kit up, I do like listen to music as I do it, so yeah, it'd be nice to get a fresh painting on the, uh, on the light board for a change. But yeah, my old light board, it's done it again. You know, I said there was like this patch thing there it's down there it's done it again so I don't know what causes it but um, yeah it's it's got like a patch on it I don't know if you can see but can you see like it does that and I don't know what causes it so it doesn't really make a difference it still lights it up but one of the best things you can get is a light board allows you to see what's in there. I could never, when I very first started this, I could, I was finding it really difficult to see the drills, even when they're clear, but this light bulb just pumps it up. And I saw this thing on, I think it was AliExpress or Fancels, but they had two clamps and it was like a cross stitch, uh, like a light bulb thing for it. And it was cross stitch and it had two clamps that held it up rather than like the brackets. I don't use my brackets very often. I like to work flat on the surface. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. I think with squares as well, I also struggle because like you'll put it down, but it's it sort of goes like that. It will go like that. So for me, I'll always try and choose um, oh bugger, hang on, I'll always try and choose, uh, oh what 
do you call it? Uh, rounds. Yes. I'd like to do some ships as well, like, or like a helicopter, or I'll just do so many animals and, you know, character ones. I'd like to do some more with words in it. Um, company work on one that has got a word in it. Um, yeah, I'd like to do a bit more of that. Oh, coming up to four minutes, so I think we'll stop there for this. Um, rather than start another line, um, but we are slowly but surely getting this all done, and it it really is getting quite lovely now. Um, but I reckon oh, by Friday we should have this finished. Because um, it's not much longer now. We've just literally got to one, two, three. I'm going to say three blocks because we know that somewhere down here will turn into a rectangle. And then obviously after that we've just got to do some colour filling around here. And um, yeah, be done and dusted. But uh, really, really lovely. And then what I'll do is I'll put where this white section is, I'll put washi tape up there and seal it. I think that'll look really nice in the in the, the, uh, in the thingamajig, the uh, frame. But yeah, it's really lovely. So please remember to like, share and subscribe. I've got to put my pen down as much as I want to carry on. Tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos I do. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.